Baseball is a simple game. You score more runs than the other team, you win the game. So wouldn't it be very useful to have a statistic that shows how good a player is at contributing to run scoring? Welcome to WOBA. Let's go. Weighted on base average or WOBA is designed to properly weigh each offensive outcome in a baseball game to give a more accurate representation of a hitter's offensive ability. We've talked about the good and the bad of baseball statistics and WOBA is the next step into this. We've talked about on-base percentage. It's very good because it includes walks, but it has no differentiation between a hit and a walk or a home run and a single. Slugging percentage is still a useful statistic because it incorporates that type of value in terms of the total bases. However, the total bases does not equal the hit value. For example, four singles does not necessarily equate to one home run. OPS puts this all together to include on-base percentage and slugging percentage, but it lacks quality as well because OPS suggests that one on-base percentage point is equivalent to one slugging percentage point. When in actual fact, when we do the math involved, it's actually 1.8 points of on-base percentage is equal to one slugging percentage. So we need a statistic that better measures the outcomes of the game and their value towards run scoring. Enter WOBA. So what makes WOBA so much better than other statistics? Well, when you take a look at the formula for the calculation of WOBA, it starts to become very apparent as to where its value shows. Taking a look at this 2013 version of the calculation of WOBA, we see that it's 0.69 times the number of unintentional walks for a batter, plus 0.72 times their hit by pitch, 0.89 times their singles, 1.27 times their doubles, 1.62 times triples, and 2.10 times the number of home runs that that batter hits. You take the total of all that, divide it by your at-bats, plus walks, minus intentional walks, plus sacrifice flies, plus hit by pitches. So what is so important about this formula? Well, the coefficients for those non-math people, that's the numbers in the formula, the coefficients show the weight that each particular outcome contributes towards run scoring. If you multiply 0.89 times a player's singles in the 2013 season, that's going to show the amount of runs contributed by that player as a statistic in terms of a part of the calculation of WOBA. Now, these numbers vary from season to season because certain hits are worth more or less depending on the run scoring environment over Major League Baseball season. And the best example we can show is we compare the 2023 season back to the dead ball era of 1911. And here you see the two formulas for you. In 2023, we see our coefficients are very similar to 2013 at 0 0.696, 0 0.726, 0 0.883, 1.244. 1.569, 2.004 for each home run. So there is a difference between the 2013 and 2023 calculation. But now let's take and make a comparison to 1911. Why did I choose 1911? Well, I want to highlight some of the best players of all time. This was the era of guys like Honus Wagner, Ty Cobb, Nap LaJoy, and Shoeless Joe Jackson. Some of the greatest pitchers of all time existed as well. Guys like Cy Young, Walter Johnson, Christy Mathewson. And of course, we are going to see a difference in the statistics. When you look at the comparison here, you see the coefficients have definitely changed from around 0.69 for the walks up to 0.752. Hit by pitches jump from 0.72 to 0.786. Singles from 0.89 to 0.961. Doubles 1.27 to 1.365. Triples from 1.62 to 1.728. Home runs from 2.10 all the way up to 2.222. So here we can see a really true difference to run scoring environments. It was much more challenging to score runs in the era of the dead ball with guys like Ty Cobb and Honus Wagner, who even though they had very high batting averages, you could see it's very difficult to score runs. Hence why each hit and walk, or even hit by pitch, had much more contribution to the run scoring ability of each player. So you might look at these formulas and say, 
where do these coefficients, these numbers, where do they even come from in terms of our formula? Well, these numbers come from linear weights. And linear weights represent the value of each outcome's impact on scoring runs. You might say, well, how do these help us in the game of baseball? Well, linear weights are a class of run estimators that we use to determine the relative values of particular events. They are used in WOBA as much as they are used in FIP, which is Fielding Independent Pitching, a pitching statistic. So to calculate these linear weights, we need to find all instances of a particular base out state and find the total number of runs scored from that time until the inning ends. So if, for example, maybe the Toronto Blue Jays get a lead-off single. They're now on one of the 24 base out states, the situation with the runner on first and nobody else. That's one of the 24 states that we talked about in my video on RE24. Now from that point, we track how many runs the Blue Jays score in that inning from that situation on. They might not score any runs. They might score one, two, three, whatever the case may be, and that's contributed to the overall total of that particular base out state. We do that for all 24 base out states for every outcome in every single baseball game. Once we have that total, we can divide by the number of times that that particular base out state happened, the number of instances that happened in a game. So essentially, we're finding an average, the total run scored from the point of that base out state divided by the number of times that base out state occurred. Or in other words, we're taking the total run expectancy of all the specific outcomes and divided by the total number of that outcome. This gives the runs above average produced by each of these kind of events, aka linear weights. And these linear weights can then be adapted to fit into our WOVA formula. Now they do have to be adjusted slightly because they want WOVA and on base percentage to look very, very similar. And it's been discovered that one out in Major League Baseball is equivalent to negative 0.26 runs. So basically it's scaled by increasing that to zero and that would put it on the same page as calculations of on base percentage. They are much, much different calculations, but the scale of what is good, great, amazing, even bad is going to look very, very similar between on base percentage and WOBA. Lastly, one of the best things about WOBA is its ability to transfer over easily to a statistic called weighted runs above average. And that's what the name of the game is all about runs. So understanding runs above average is very, very important. So that has a formula that goes along with it as well. You can see it here where weighted runs above average is equivalent to your WOBA minus the league WOBA divided by the WOBA scale. And that's a lot harder calculation to come up with. In 2013, it was equivalent to 1.15. In 2023, it was 1.204. It tends to sit around that value. And you also have to multiply by the plate appearances to get your overall calculation. So that allows you to change from WOBA, a percentage like on base percentage, into runs. And that's what the game is all about. The ability to understand runs above average and weighted on base average WOBA is a huge calculation in that part of the game. And on its own, it's a terrific display of a player's ability to contribute runs to his team. And when you're looking at WOBA, it has a general rule of thumb. An excellent WOBA is around 400. Grades down to about 370. Above average 340, average around 320, and awful WOBA is under 300, just as you expect with an on-base percentage in a category like this. And of course, when we're talking the best of the best of the game in terms of WOBA, the top players of the game are right near the top of the leaderboard, but there's always some surprises as well. Taking a look at the 2023 leaderboard, Shohei Otani, Ronald Cunha Jr., Aaron Judge are right at the top. Guys you'd expect to see as well as Corey Seager, Mookie Betts. But you see some unexpected guys as well. Guys like Nolan Jones who had a huge breakout year. Marcelo Zuna and even Mitch Garver. So in a lot of ways, WOBA is the true class of understanding a player's contributions in terms of run scoring. It has nothing to do with fielding. It has nothing to do with base running. It's all about offense. And there's where it separates itself from war, which is accumulating all these different statistics into one as a true measure of the player, while WOBA is all about the offensive side and the offensive gifts 
of the best of the best. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of another video here on 3 Up, 3 Down. I hope you are enjoying these analytics discussions. Make sure you go check out some of the previous analytics videos as well as some trade tree videos that I've been putting out as of late. There's going to be a lot more videos coming up here in 3 Up, 3 Down as we approach the beginning of the 2024 Major League Baseball season. So make sure you are subscribed for all the wonderful content right here on 3 Up, 3 Down. Until next time, take care, everyone.